Hey folks, this is Broly Platt, and I want to give you some tips on how to use the harp wah and how to get the best sounds out of it. I'm going to start with just my uh, basic grip of the of the harmonica. I hold it in a traditional manner, uh, very common, just uh, between the thumb and index finger. And um, you know, I think the product is is going to work best for that type of grip, but it, it um, uh, well may work for uh, for other types of grips as well. Uh, so I start from that. I have I'm not adjusting my grip on my hand at all. Um, here's the harpois. That rectangular slot is the input slot. That's what you play into. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get the angle right here. Is I just lay this across, lay the harp over that slot. So it's kind of the low end is is uh, is you know there's a little more of the high end sticking out which the high notes don't resonate that well anyway so this was mainly designed for the for the meat and potatoes notes from one to six so there it is there and i'm going to show you on the inside uh, one of the important things is just to make sure it's lined up properly a little closer you can see a bit of my hand which is good because the next point to uh, to try and do is you want a good seal on this so this is very much like um, playing through a microphone for the first time into an amplifier. When you pick up a microphone, you've got to, you can't just, you're not going to get that great sound right off the bat. There's a lot of uh, adjusting your cupping around the microphone to get a good seal. This is the same idea. The main thing is my grip isn't changed, right? See, it's still the same. I'm just cradling, like my, my finger and thumb are kind of resting on the sides here, one side, then the other and the harp is just kind of floating in the middle the way it feels natural and then I the rest of it is just a, a trying to get a, a bit of a seal around this this opening it doesn't have to be completely airtight by any means there's there's lots of open air here hard to get in close but there there's a bit of air escaping quite a bit of air escaping there that's not going to affect it, it doesn't have to be airtight this as long as the, the body you know the main body of the sound is going into this and it, this is uh, now I'm holding this this is all aluminum, by the way, so it's very light. So it looks like it might be uh, quite heavy in the pictures, but it's actually super light. Um, and I'm holding it. I'm holding it with just two fingers, as you can see. And then I just I can rest my other fingers there. So it's not hard. It's not that hard to hang on to. Um, but it's not really not meant to be played with one hand anyway. Um, you can. You can hold it like this. And even just playing into it gives a, a nice character to the sound. But the fun begins when you add your other hand into this and that acts as a support. So you're, that's the main way you get the wah sound, obviously. But it's also uh, acts as a support. And when I get playing and I'm going nuts on the thing, um, it moves around a bit and this helps uh, me stabilize it or, or push it back in a little bit. It just keeps it balanced, but that's kind of the purpose of this hand. It's, it's kind of meant to be there. I'm pushing back a bit. And that's basically it. Uh, it's not rocket science, that's for sure. Main thing is is to get uh, you know a decent seal on this. But uh, the best tool you can use for this is use your ears. Um, you'll hear the the this take effect once it's uh, if you get it in the right position. So just play with it a little bit. Consider it uh, like I said the same way as if you were getting playing through a microphone for the first time. You gotta you gotta experiment a bit, and your ears will tell you if you're getting it right or not. If I can think of any other tips, I'll do another video. And uh, if not, enjoy, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.